Hello guys, welcome back to Pathology by Ranjitaya YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction of what we have planned for the this week in the Pathology by Ranjitaya app for residents of pathology. So if you're a resident of pathology, this video is for you and listen through it. So soft tissue pathology is something which is considered to be very, very difficult when in terms of diagnosis, in terms of giving an accurate uh, report when you have multiple varied tumors. So it said that there are close to like 150 plus soft tissue tumors. And it's very difficult for a uh, postgraduate in pathology in the three years to excel soft tissue diagnosis and the markers what to apply and the genetics what to apply. So what I have desired is this, next one week there will be a structured course available for every resident free of cost in the app. So if you not downloaded the app, please click on the link below and please download the app. So I'll tell you what I have decided and how I have structured this course. And let's see if we can uh, do the same thing for the entire pathology. We will become amazing pathologists with all the diagnosis at our fingertips, right? So what we are going to do is, first, uh, there, there are already three videos which is available in the app. And uh, you will be having subsequent videos uploaded on a daily basis based on a schedule. I'll have a close WhatsApp group to every student here and we'll definitely read through it. So the three videos which will be available already in the app as the histology, or the basics which is required to understand soft tissue lesions. Like example, like there are multiple spindle cell, myofibroblast is a spindle cell, fibroblast is a spindle cell, smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, nerve fiber, all these are spindle cell and all these come in the soft tissue. Morphologically, they might superficially look very, almost exactly the same, but there are tiny nuances, tiny differences in them, that's the first video is about, right? Second, you will have a video on the approach of soft tissue tumors. See, approach of every lesion is very, very important for me. So what I have done in this approach of soft tissue tumors is, first, an overview of what all is required. Okay, I need this IHC, I need this pattern, I need this molecular genetics to diagnose. And also I added a note on how to grade soft tissue tumors, the FLNCC grading which is being uniformly used across the world and recommended by WHO as well, right? Third video will be about the histopathological patterns which is required to understand in, a, in the initial start. So once you understand the histopathological patterns for soft tissue neoplasms, there are like uh, round cell pattern, there is spindle cell pattern, there is pleomorphic pattern, epithelioid pattern and your biphasic pattern. So the primary five patterns so we'll understand this and let's say if you see a spindle cell and you have a world appearance i think of this diagnosis if you see a spindle cell and fascicular arrangement i think of this diagnosis right so that's what we, the, there are three videos like i said it's available to your app and i want you guys to just go through it slowly and steadily this is not going to take more than one hour or two one and a half hours of your time that's all so once it's done once our base is set, from tomorrow onwards, I'll be going with tumors of particular lineage specific origin. If you look at the WHO 5th edition, that that's a recent edition of soft tissue pathology. So WHO 5th edition has classified quite a few things in terms of soft tissue pathology. You have tumors of adipocytic origin. It's the same old thing, but little bit of uh, changes has happened. Tumors of fibrohistiocytic origin or your myofibroblastic origin. You have tumors of smooth muscle differentiation. You have tumors of skeletal muscle differentiation. Okay. Right. I have tumors of peripheral nerve sheath tumors or an NSTs. Right. So these are broad categories. In addition to that, I have cartilaginous dis differentiation. I have osseous differentiation and also hematolymphoid differentiation. So what I'm going to do is every day I'll add one one differentiation. With our existing base of histology and the approach and the patterns and whenever I talk about your let's say adipocytic differentiation, a liposarcoma, it will be attached to a digital slide. I'll look at the digital slide and I'll tell you what to look for and this will be available in the app for every student who is going to download the app, right? So we read the theory part, we look at the microscopy and make sure our diagnosis is sorted. In addition to this, I'll also add notes for you. See, because I feel that pathology is a very, very intensive theoretical subject. It's a very academically oriented subject. So unless you read and revise them repeatedly, and if you want to search at some point of time, and you have a digital slides at your disposal, that will be the best way to learn, right? So let's do this. And I'm calling all the EGPGs especially, and all every pathologist here to download the app and enroll to the free course. And let's learn pathology and medicine in the best way possible. See you soon. Bye-bye. Till then from Dr. Anjan. Bye-bye.